Hello everybody, Zatman here to bring you the final part of the Mage ADC build guides. This is the last god um, that I'm going to be doing for the Mage ADCs, the last Mage ADC, and it is going to be Freya. Now Freya is considered probably one of the top two hunters in the game. Her and Chronos top two easily. Her kit is very strong. Uh, she clears the wave almost instantly. Her two goes through all the creeps. Um, she has her banish, her three, which is one of the best setups in the game. She has a ton of damage. She has an ultimate that does a lot of damage as well. And it's a get out of jail free card. It makes her immune to damage when she goes in the air. So all in all, Freya is an extremely strong god. And I'm going to be giving you guys uh, a couple of builds for her. So you guys could take your games to the next level. One is going to be with Hasten Ring, and the, one, uh, the other one is going to be without Hasten Ring. So let's get right into it. Uh, for starter items, you definitely want to go Hunter's Blessing on Freya, as she's, again, a mage ADC and relies a lot on her auto attacks. Hunter's Blessing will augment that, and you'll have a very strong <clears throat> level one with Hunter's Blessing. Uh, now, my other video, I saw someone ask about going Helm 1 first. I didn't mention it, but if you are scared of going against double fizz in lane you can start helmet one um dynasty played helm one to be more specific this one right here uh but most of the time you probably end up going choose one which is what i'm going to show here so we build choose one consumables you pretty much want to go three health one multi again you don't need a mana pot on freya as her melee stance uh, auto attacks regenerate mana and then you might ask, oh, why multi-pot then? It's because sometimes you get into a, thick, uh, a big battle and you want to have multiple health pots ticking. So the multi-pot and the health pot both tick your HP up and that could be the difference between life, life and death. So pretty much standard opening. A lot of the mage ADCs use the same opening. Um, and after that, we're gonna finish our shoes. And what we're gonna build here is just 100% Shoes of the Magi. Again, Freya is a big time damage dealer. Uh, CDR boots can be okay, but honestly, Freya is such a lane bully, such a, such a like, uh, uh, she's, she like suffocates the opponent. She just pushes instantly and then she wants to invade. She wants to do damage. She wants to put you under your tower. She wants to press you all the time. So getting more damage here with Shoes of the Magi, getting the 10 magical pen is insanely strong and makes her makes her ultimate almost one shot at level five honestly it does like 75 percent of enough of the other lane opponents hp so it's a very strong build you want to go shoes the magi we'll build that uh so i think we will go into hasten ring build first now if you go the hasten ring build I, you know if you've seen a lot of my other guides i like to go uh, a lifesteal item like bancrofts or pythags plus helmet but when you go hasten rank you can't afford to go both helmet and a lifesteal item because that is too many luxury items is what i like to call it those items all together don't really scale your damage well into the late game and if you do build all those items you'll be missing out on very important necessary items that you need later on in the build so you could only go one one of those two items one either the lifesteal item or the helmet item and hasten rank okay so since we're gonna be going hasten ring, now there's a couple questions you need to ask yourself. Uh, does the lane opponent that I'm going against have kill potential on me? <clears throat> does he have 100 to zero burst? Is he a good all inner such as Hu Yi, uh, Hachiman on her? If that's the case, then you wanna go either Bancrofts or Helmet. And now to decide whether you wanna go Bancrofts or Helmet, you probably just want to you know, see how strong is our 100 to zero burst? Are you gonna get zoned from the wave? If you're gonna get zoned from the wave, that means you can't heal off Bancrofts. So Bancrofts becomes useless. So you probably wanna go helmet. Now, if you can't heal from the wave and you're not really scared of them zoning you, then you can go Bancrofts as you'll be able to get a lot of sustain every wave, pretty much heal to full every wave. And uh, so if that's the case, then you wanna go Bancrofts. If you're not scared of the opponent at all, like let's say you're against a Jingwei, I recommend going Hasten Ring right here. So for the sake of this build, we're gonna pretend we're against a Jingwei and you wanna go Hasten Ring. The faster you go Hasten Ring, the faster you can dominate the lane, the faster you can start rotating around. It has the extra movement speed and also it gives you a ton of kill potential. So that's why uh, if you can go Hasten Ring, you know, 
based on the criteria I just mentioned, definitely get Hasten Ring. It's very strong early. It'll help you snowball big time and get you kills. After that, you want to go either uh, Bancrofts or Helmet. Again, if you're scared of the dive, you don't think you're going to get a lot of lifesteal off. They have a lot of CC, uh, a lot of one-shot potential. And then you want to go Helmet. Now, if they don't have that one-shot potential, you think you're going to be able to get a lot of autos off in the fight, then you definitely want to go Bancrofts. And remember, you, you do not get both. It's one or the other when you build Hasten Ring. Okay, so for the sake of this guy, let's just build Bancrofts. But remember the criteria I told you for each of these items. It's very important. It'll help you survive in the team fights and the small skirmishes, and it'll help you do good damage as well. So after that, the build is very intuitive. It's natural. Fourth item is always pretty much the pen slot item for the uh, most part, no matter what character you're playing. Uh, and in this case, it'll be Demonic Grip. Snag that, build. Again, Demonic Grip, what goes with it? Always Telkine's Ring. Then you want to go Telkine's Ring. And just like the other Mage ADCs, here's where you ask yourself. You hit Tab. Do they have Magic Prots? If they do have Magic Prots, they have one full Magic D item, such as Genji's, and maybe they're building into another one, or a hybrid defensive item, such as Hide of the Urchin or Mantle. You 100% want to build Op Shard. Otherwise, you will not be doing any damage to the guy that uh, goes on you, which was normally... The tank so you then you want to build op shard if they do not have protections they're only maybe building into their first magic prod item then you want to go rod as it'll augment your damage extremely high especially if they do not have the magic prods as i stated so for this case we'll just build the op shard here and after that you pretty much want to sell your boots for the for either the op shard or the rod of the 2d whichever one you didn't get and that is pretty much the full build uh, with Hasten Ring, you have to remember that Hasten Ring, not only is it a good chase tool, but it's also an amazing defensive tool because you, it allows you to kite the melees. So when, let's say, a solo laner blinks on you, you pop your one, you instantly slow the solo laner, and then you start backpedaling with the Hasten uh, proc, and you will be kiting him. It's very hard for him to do damage to you. So Hasten Ring actually acts as a very strong defensive item. And that is it. That is the build for Hasten Ring. Now let's start over. We'll do a build without the Hasten Ring. Again, you want to start with Hunter's Blessing. And again, you want to go Boots 1 or the if you're scared of double physical lane, uh, you can go Helmet 1 if you want. So this would be the standard build. Consumables are the same. Three health pots, one multi pot. You're good to go. Good to start the laning phase. After that, again, you want to build Shoes of the Magi. Nothing changes there. And now here, because you're not going Hasten Ring, you can pretty much get Helmet and Bancrofts, and you will literally be a tanky beast. I don't think anyone can kill you. You could probably 2v1 easily. If the jungler comes, just kill him and kill the hunter too. You'll have no problems. Uh, to decide whether you want to go Bancrofts or Helmet first, it's basically the same thing I said before. If they have a lot of one-shot potential, you're scared of the on her jumping in and all inning you, he's zoning you from the lane, you want to go helmet. If you think you can get uh, a lot of autos off, you think you're not scared of them zoning you, uh, go Bancrofts first. So here, you just get one. Let's say we go helm first. Oops. You build that, and then you just go ahead and get the Bancrofts right after. Now... There's also one other thing you can do on the third item slot is you can build Demonic Grip third if you see them building early prots and then get the Bancrofts fourth if you wanted to. Um, it's pretty much up to you. You can kind of play around with the Bancrofts or the Dynasty Play at Helm. You can get them later on in your build uh, if you're just not scared of it. Uh, you could skip the helmet altogether if you're not scared of any physical dive. You could just go straight Shoes of the Magi's, Bancrofts, Demonic Grip, and keep going on through the build and forget about Dynasty Play at Helm. So that is another option. But again, uh, you usually play against you know a physical jungler, probably nine times out of 10. Uh, and you'll probably face at least two physicals. And Dynasty Clear Helm is just so good throughout the early game. Such a cost-efficient item. It gives you the flat pen, which is amazing. Shoes of the Magi's and Dynasty Plate Helm, you have, what, 20 flat pen already, which is insane. Your one damage goes through the roof. Your ultimate goes through the roof. So you know, don't think of Dynasty Plate Helm as just a protection item, just a hybrid item. It gives you insane damage in the early game as well because of the flat pen. So with that being said, 
Fourth item naturally is going to be your demo grip. Build after that, Telkines. You're ready to frag. You literally dominate the team fight. Um, actually, honestly, once you get demonic grip, you're already dominating the game. So you're good to go. And then after that, again, it's the same thing. You hit tab, check out their magic protections. Do they have a lot of magic prots? Go op shard. Do they not? Go rod. And then you, you sell the blessing. Yep, build that. And then you can sell your boots for rod. And then what I like about this build a little bit more than the hasten ring build is you can sell your helmet for whatever you need. You can sell the helmet for mantle. You're literally unkillable. You can sell the helmet for hasten if you wanted to. Go back, get the hasten. You could sell the helmet for Spear of Desolation. You want more flatbed with the more magic power option and the CDR. You could sell it for Shaman's Ring for another extra 10% movement speed and just overall damage output. So you have a million options when you go this build because you're not glued to the Hasten Ring. Um, you know, honestly, depending on the game, sometimes Hasten Ring can feel useless. It is actually a big drop off in damage compared to, compared to just building other items that have penetration on it or just straight up magic power and a, a different passive that gives you more damage um, so honestly you know play around with the build see which one do you like more do you like hasten more cool it's really strong with freya do you not like hasten you can get a little bit more damage um so you know just mess around with that see which one you like better uh they're both really strong and you know just have fun with it. Freya's a ton of fun. She's super strong. You know, pick her, you'll probably win a majority of your games, honestly. And, you know, magical ADCs right now, you know, take advantage of them before they probably will get nerfed. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Freya guide, and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole Mage ADC build guide series. Uh, we'll probably be working on maybe some more mages, but are a little bit weirder picks such as morgan uh you've seen me guys play morgan in spl about three times she's very strong maybe i'll do a build guide for her um as far as that maybe if you guys want any requests in terms of specific hunters uh and how to build them we can go into that just leave a you know a comment in the section below and uh i'll de definitely consider it for my next set of guides that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and leave a comment and thank you very much see you next time